So hello everyone. Right now I have Mrs. Dhwani Gar with me over here. And uh, firstly, I would like to say that Dhwani, your speech was truly, truly inspiring. So the first question I would like to ask you is that how does it feel to be a TED speaker now? I think uh, since I was very young, I have been very fascinated with TED Talks. Um, on a daily basis, I watch a lot of them. And representation as a topic is, a, uh, is very close to my heart. And I was very grateful to get this opportunity so I could share my ideas with more people and, you know, impact more people, reach, reach a larger audience. So I think it, it feels, I feel very grateful being a TED speaker. That's really good to hear. Uh, what do you think are the key takeaways the audience can derive from your speech? Anything? Yeah. I think one major thing that I meant to say was something like an entertainment industry has a very huge impact on our lives and it is important that all kind of representation comes rightly in the industry. So whether it is LGBT, color, racial and um, you know gender stereotypes, body stereotypes, it is important that we are inclusive in all of them and make sure that everybody in the world feels that they are being represented, re represented and it is inclusive representation. Very true. So I was listening to your speech and you mentioned uh, a few movies and shows like Atypical and The Good Doctor. Yeah. And um, I've also watched those shows and I realized that the actors in these shows, they are neurotypical, they are not autistic. Yeah. So what do you think we can do to uh, ensure that we have autistic people representing themselves in these shows? Yeah. So I think a major problem right now is that people with learning disabilities and, you know, neuroatypical people are underrepresented in all industries because people feel like they're not capable. So the first thing would be that we uh, educate people on what exactly learning disabilities are, what are the problems that these fe people face and make them realize that they are capable of fitting into any industry. It's not just the film industry where we need to see more representation of neuroatypical people, it's in all industries. So. Uh, we need these actors. Uh, right now, uh, we have that movie coming by Sia and uh, it is about uh, learning disabilities and but the actor in it is not autistic. So, and uh, I think Sia made a statement where she said um, that autistic people can't act well, which is completely untrue. So I think it's what we need is education and awareness and more opportunities for neuroatypical people to audition for neuroatypical parts. Very true. I can. Uh, I read a lot about the part where Sia said that you know autistic people cannot act well, and it really hurt me to read that. Um, and another thing, when I was listening to your speech, you talked about how we can include representation in media and textbooks. Uh, but what about social inclusion? Uh, I assume you mean how socially acceptable this yes, representation yes. would be. Uh, I do realize that having LGBT representation in children's textbook is going to uh, face a lot of opposition. But my argument remains same, that we need to start somewhere. Pa if parents are the one opposing, it is because they did not learn about it when they were young. And we have to start at a younger age. And it is true that all disruptive ideas meet with opposition at some time at some point. Social acceptance takes time, but we have to start somewhere and that time is right now. Thank you so much. Truly inspiring words. But uh, the last question, but not the least at least, uh, how was that experience at TEDxL Pro? I think it was a very great experience. I had a great organizing committee who helped us a lot, uh, it, whether it be the teachers, the students, every, everyone has been very helpful and the event is very well organized and I had a great time here. Thank you so much.